చెప్పుకున్న శివప్రసాద్ నాయుడు శివప్రసాద్ నాయుడు శివప్రసాద్ నాయుడు కెన్ యూ యూ మైక్రోఫోన్ వై ఇస్ ఇట్ ఐమ్ నో ఎస్ 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 ఓకే సో వాట్ ఐఎమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సే ఇస్ దట్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ సిఎల్టి బ్యాచ్ టీచర్స్ ఆర్ ఆస్ టు డూ క్లాస్ రూమ్ బేస్డ్ రీసెర్చ్ at the end of the training they submit a report but this back i don't know some how we were not able to take it forward i was not able to uh tell you about doing research in the class so i was talking about the theoretical aspects what is classroom based research what is the difference between exploratory research action research and things like that is not able to push you into the research work if you are really interested in doing some kind of research in the classroom i need an email from you my personal email id is shared in the chat box it's those of you who works to note of it r a v i r i e at the rate of gmail.com it is ravi r a e at gmail.com that's my email id if you're interested if you want to do some kind of research then please send me an email i am i'll be there definitely to help you i have got a pool of teacher researchers those who have done their clt training face to face online most of them have conducted classroom research they have submitted their report, reports and some of them are helping other teachers to do this kind of research and we call them teacher research mentors they are acting as mentors they are conducting training sessions on doing classroom research so i can connect you with those teachers mentors all right maybe we can create a group where they will be able to share their experiences how they did classroom research they can share their reports they can also guide you in doing exploratory action research so if you are really interested you please send me an email right no force it's something that you do voluntarily only those who are passionate about doing solving classroom problems only those who are interested in their professional growth development i think this is an opportunity for all of you some of these teachers who attended clt programs in the last batches they have also made presentations in conferences we conducted an online conference in the month of june 2021 some of these teachers i think around 8 to 10 teachers presented classroom research reports in the conference they wrote an abstract they made presentations and they are writing a full article based on their classroom research and some of them around 17 of them 17 of them made presentations in an international conference also organized by dr richard smith and his team uh 12 of them made a presentation in a conference that was held in november online and another five presented their papers in the month of december december 10th and 11th it was a two day online international conference so if you're interested i can actually uh put you in contact with all those teachers so that's a very good platform for your professional growth right yeah so that's about research part now today we are going to talk about reading so i want some of you to please share your reading log then i'll share the link to the google form where you will share your reading logs five different materials you read i think you need to share only five on this google form only three out of five select any three and share them on the google form all right i'll share the link here in the chat box and then maybe one of you can share it in the whatsapp group and at the end of today's session i am going to conduct a small test on reading that is that will be considered for your final grade the test is for 20 marks 10 for one second i'll just take a call right yeah so 
But uh, in another, I mean, to, uh, maybe around 3.45, I'll take another half an hour to continue my discussion on reading. And at 3.45, I'll share a Google form for an online test. This is for 20 marks. First part is for 10 marks, objective type questions for 10 marks. And then second part where you need to write a paragraph that carries another 10 marks. So I'm going to conduct a test for 20 marks. This will be considered for your final grade. This is final assessment on reading. All right. Reading log will also be assessed for another 10 marks. So all of you should compulsorily submit your reading log by tomorrow. Reading log, you can submit by tomorrow or day after. I can give you two, two to three days time. Maybe by Monday, you should submit your reading log. You will not get the, the link. Will I'll close the link by Monday. Test you have to complete today itself. Before 4.30, I'll close the link by 4.30. 3.45 to 4.30 is your online test on reading. You have to complete it. If in case there is any internet problem, technical issues, you can share a message in the WhatsApp group. I may be able to share the link personally on your WhatsApp number. But otherwise, 4.30, the link to the Google form test will close. You will not be able to take the test after 4.30. In case there is any problem in submitting your Google form today, you need to send me a message either in the group or you can send me an email as well. Right. I hope it's clear. Okay. So reading log. I want two or three of you to please share your reading logs now before I begin my session. Yeah. Where to go? Shall I Good afternoon, sir. Ah, who, who wants to apart from questions? Yeah. Showing pictures. Okay. Pictures. Pictures related to the lesson, right? To the topic. Good. Sir, we then, relate the situations which they have known to the present mm -hmm. concept. Okay. Relating it to the known situations. Okay. Relating the topic to familiar situations, to the outside world, to their everyday life. Okay. Then you can play. Yeah, related video. to lessons, you have to pose the questions as a trigger. Yeah. As a trigger. All right. Pose questions yeah. as a trigger. Yeah, uh, no, I'm asking in addition to questions, what else can be done? What else have you done? Mind mapping. Mind mapping. Mind mapping. Very good. Very good. I think it's a good idea to use mind maps to introduce the topic, to introduce the vocabulary. I think you should draw a mind map and present a brief summary of the text before you actually read, read it out or explain the lesson. Mind map is a very useful technique. Uh, in the beginning, teachers can present. At the end of the lesson, teachers, I mean, students can draw a mind map. They can present a mind map and show their understanding of the lesson. That can be used for assessment also. So before reading, teachers use a mind map to introduce the concept. End of the lesson, post-reading, maybe students draw and present a mind map. That, that will be good. Yeah. Next, please. And, and, and we can use the pictorial, pictorial cards. And uh, uh, giving yes. to students and uh, talk about uh, four, four or five sentences on the given pictures. Sir. Correct. That's right. Yeah. Picture reading can also be done. Picture description, draw a picture as a trigger. That's right. Good. Uh, Telling small story. Any small related story. To... Small story related to the topic. Okay. Related to the theme. Yes. 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 Right. Right. You can story tell us. Picture reading. Audio. Picture reading, sir. Picture reading. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. That's right. Or you can play a mining, Next, mining. Question is, next question is, pre-reading, do you do it only in the classroom when, when you meet students face-to-face -face, or do you think some pre-reading tasks can also be assigned online? If you have WhatsApp group with your students, do you think you can set some pre-reading pre tasks online? Like yes, audio, sir. you can share video. Yes, share Sharing video. WhatsApp in WhatsApp and then you can... So how many of you have done that? Because that is, I, that is the less, lesson we have learned from this pandemic. I am doing, sir. I am doing in the corona we, pandemic we, times. We, we did it in pandemic. What, yeah, yes, what, video you, what video have you used? What link have you shared? Can you give an example with a lesson name? So actually, uh, to teach uh, grammar uh, and all. Uh, yeah. Tell me. Hello. Hmm. No, sir. Sir. Uh, uh, hmm. no, sir. Sir, to teach grammar and all in functional grammar, that time I collected YouTube uh, videos, sir, some videos, and shared in uh, 
and that whatsapp group then i again uh, i have deal uh, taken class on online so then it's uh, easy to them to guess whatever topic right. i told them that that is so sir next yeah sir what, sir in the uh, pandemic yes, time sir i wagish uh, yes i prepared some worksheets and i shared them uh, through screen sharing mm-hmm. and each and every student uh, should uh, go through that and they have to answer this it's a very interesting and very competitive activity uh, i have uh, come to know on this uh, online teaching sir good you can prepare a task sheet or a worksheet share it so next sir shake hello yeah good well very see them yeah thank you thank you sir yeah you are now muted yeah okay thank you see them sir so during pandemic period i needed some activities regarding peer reading i needed for reading reading and i sent them a uh, uh, whatsapp group and we also conducted zoom classes sir and i also uh, shared some worksheets and uh, even uh, made the corrections on whatsapp itself correction is also done on whatsapp very good thank you ah, yes. thank you now yeah, okay. now the point is yeah many of you are saying during pandemic i did this i did that you are using past tense i'll be very happy if you continue to do that even now when the schools are open all right so this yes, is uh, right yeah so the point is whatever best sure, sure, sure. yeah whatever best practices you have been following so far you should continue those practices engage students online whether it is a whatsapp or google meet or teach meet app it's very very important to engage them both online and offline uh, because pandemic has taught us many important lessons we can't expect students to learn only in the regular face to face mode all right they learn quite a lot uh, on li- on online platforms using online resources audios videos so i think many of these pre reading activities can be done offline so i want all of you to think of offline activities as a pre reading uh, at the pre reading stage like preparing short videos audios see audio you can record the audio like somebody said the textbook is converted into an audio book convert the lesson into an audio audio book and then share the audio link with the student let them listen and practice at home you don't have to do reading aloud in the classroom they can practice at home teachers voice they can listen to teachers voice teachers recording reading aloud at home they can record send it back to the teacher many teachers have done this during the pandemic but they should not stop there post pandemic also you should continue these practices all right and video recordings related to the lecture short videos using kind mas- master or any other apps you should prepare videos related to the lessons poems share them student should come prepared to the class so classroom time should be used for discussion on the lesson that is while reading that is while reading so pre reading i would strongly urge all of you to do it offline right setting some vocabulary tasks related to the topic sharing some pictures asking them to describe the pictures preparing some worksheets right or even mind map you can draw a mind map online or if you draw it by hand take a picture share it in the group let them start talking about the mind map so all that is pre reading which need not be done in the classroom you can save quite a lot of classroom time for quality discussion for interaction for interesting activities so pre reading yes i have given you a passage we'll discuss it later so pre reading is the main objective of doing pre reading activity is to help students activate their background knowledge to prepare learners for the text they are going to read so it should happen before they come to the class of so the preparation planning to set a purpose for reading and to determine strategies to teach unfamiliar vocabulary or concepts and types of activity you can present the new vocabulary introduced in the text you can give a brief introduction to the text give guiding questions you can brainstorm conduct group discussions and you can use mind maps all right and then the next one is during reading 
This is called while reading, during reading. So what do we do at the while reading stage? The main functions of during reading activities are to get students engaged in the reading process. We should engage them in the process of reading. To encourage active and reflective thinking. See, so look at that. You have to develop higher order skills in students, reflective thinking skills, analytical ability, critical thinking, and to help students process and interpret the text. See, finally, they are the ones who should read. Teachers should not be reading it out for them. So they should be engaged in the reading process. They should develop reflective thinking skills. They should process the material. They should interpret the text. Teacher has to facilitate this by designing tasks, activities, by preparing worksheets. That is your role as a facilitator. So the types of activities during reading stage, you can ask them to skim the text and then you can ask them to scan. So skimming and scanning are useful techniques uh, for while reading stage. And then reassembling jumbled sentences and texts. Think of a suitable title. You can have jigsaw reading. Passages can be jumbled up. They can reorganize the passages. Right? Locating key sentences. Completing a chart. Questioning. Note making. Summarizing. Students can read. Make notes. They can read and summarize the text. They can also use graphic organizers. Like flowchart. Visual diagrams. Etc. Okay. That's about while reading. Now the next stage is post reading. So what do we do at the post reading stage? Post reading, the main functions are to check understanding of the text, to check their deeper understanding of the text, to review the text, they read and review the text, to assess students' understanding. So you can have assessment activities at the post reading stage to develop other language skills such as speaking and writing, right? So while reading, they mainly focus on reading process. Whereas post reading, you can integrate other skills. You can make them speak about the text, narrate the story, summarize the story. They can do it orally or in writing. They can write a review report. They can write a letter to their friend based on what they have read. They can, uh, what else? They can convert the story into a dialogue form. They can draw pictures, illustrations based on what they have read. So these are all done at the post-reading stage. And then, of course, you can do role play, dramatization, information transfer exercise, transferring the textual information into non-textual information, like into a diagrammatical form, into a table, into a pie chart, for example. That is information transfer. They can read and write letters, essays. You can also assign them interesting project work which they can do either in groups or in pairs or individually. So the, uh, sample exercises, for example, read the text, discuss in small groups and present your responses to the class post reading or watch a TV program related to the theme of the text. Talk about it in the next class or prepare a newspaper page, class magazine. They can prepare a class newspaper, class magazine. Right? This could be interesting project work they can do. Uh, and also you can think of uh, assessment at the end of the lesson or unit. So it's very, very important to divide the lesson into pre-reading, while reading, post-reading stages. You have got some eight, ten periods for each lesson, right? So you have to plan it very well. They should go into your lesson planning. And what is to be done online? What is to be done offline? What is to be done in the regular face-to-face -face classroom teaching? All this should go into your lesson planning. You should think of a different way of writing a lesson plan actually. Integrating. This is called a blended lesson plan. Integrating online, offline resources. Okay. Uh, right. So there is an... Uh, now we'll talk about assessment. Right. Assessment. Quickly I'll go through the assessment techniques. Then we will... I'll conduct the test. Okay. Assessment. Yeah. Simple observation for this is, I'm talking about assessing students reading, all right? how to test students reading. You, you can keep observing, you can have an observation schedule for assessment. You can also conduct interviews with parents, find out students' likes and dislikes. These are informal ways of assessment. You can have teacher-student reading conferences, for example, where students read and make presentations on what they have read. You can have oral reading activities. And then miscue analysis, error analysis, when they read what 
errors do they make you can make notes analyze their errors you can have reading portfolios like reading logs reading portfolios you can also have self assessment checklist right and then you can have read and do tasks read and draw read and follow instructions reading and retelling could be an assessment activity they read and retell the story all right so these are some interesting assessment tasks and then there are other informal assessment formats such as have students read aloud in class and evaluate their reading keep a record of student responses to questions in class after a reading so keep a record of their responses how do students respond to your questions right and then keep notes on student participation in class discussions how many of them participate what is the quality of their participation you can keep notes so this is documenting recording tracking individual progress which is important observe what reading material is read during free time okay or silent or period observe what reading materials they prefer observe how much time students spend on tasks during free reading have students do paired readings right yeah or observe students reading with an audio tape you can record when they are reading for example reading aloud you can record it listen to it and analyze right okay so next is so there are many there are many such informal assessment techniques have students list words they want to know after reading okay after reading what words they want to know new words and why have students keep diaries or reading journals have students write simple book reports have students recommend books to their friends right yeah so these are other techniques you can try it out sometime it's not that you should do all these in your classrooms but think of alternative ways of assessment don't think of only formal ways of assessing students reading only through questions only through worksheets only through written tests no i mean students sometimes may not like these formal ways of testing them so you should have informal assessment techniques like reading conferences all right or reading uh, reading material i mean sharing their preferences or that how much time do they spend reading what kind of materials they read apart from your textbooks right or they can write simple uh book reports right yes and then keep charts of student reading grade 17 16th and 17th see how do you assess their growth in reading from 8th standard to 9th standard what is the growth from 8th to 10th for example what is the improvement made are they at the same level or have they gone to the next level that is important maybe when they come to class 8 they are interested only in reading the textbook lessons poems to class 9 maybe they read a few other materials class 10 maybe their reading habits increase they read quite a lot of other materials so called complex text right so that's what you need to track you have to track their progress in reading using some rubrics or assessment scale right next is yes so these are other techniques uh yes have students enact a scene or even from a text have them fill out simple questionnaires 24th simple question is you can prepare all right or student portfolios okay all right there are many such techniques i'm not going to discuss them at length now what i'll do is uh yes i will share the link to the online test now google form